second weekend of October, the eastern shore will not just be the land of sails and oysters. It's going to be a <laughs> sea of film. Yeah, the Chesapeake Film Festival is an opportunity for thousands of film lovers to come together for a celebration of storytelling and filmmaking. Sandy Cannon Brown is one of the filmmakers that will be part of the festival and joins us this afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. Great to be here. So exciting. And this is actually the 11th year of the Chesapeake Film Festival. It is the 11th year. Um, I've been to many of the ones in the past over the 10 years and participated in some, but this is the first time I've been behind the scenes. I'm on the board this year. Oh, wow. But you've actually seen it grow over the years. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so What's so special about going to the film festival as opposed to just sitting back in the chair at home watching Netflix? You could do this at home if you had a home theater and you had a giant screen and about a hundred seats to bring in all your friends and you could invite the director over for dinner to talk about it, you could do it at home. But most people can't, bet you can't. Wow, sold. Yeah, I was gonna say, are <laughs> you gonna, do, are you gonna no. do that, Jimmy? I'm um, nowhere close to that. Right. So we create that. Let's mm -hmm. create that atmosphere so everybody can get together and share films and talk about them and ask those questions. You know, when you watch a film, you go, no, why did they do that? Or I miss that or something. And you have an opportunity to sit and talk with the filmmakers and find that out. That's exciting. It is. Yeah. So one of the, the films uh, is, is one that was done by a director we actually got to talk to, and that, of course, is Five Days in August. That's going to be screened there? Five Days in August most certainly is. It's one of the must-see films for sure. Mm -hmm. The thing I like about um, that film and what Nick Ruff did with it is it's what documentary films should be all about. Right. He was an observer at the White Marlin Open, and he saw the scales, and he saw the aftermath, like all the other spectators, and he wanted to have that sense of what's happening out there, what is it, 40, 50, 60 miles away from shore. Right. So he takes his crew out on the boats and is able to take everybody else then out there and experience that. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. It's an Very exciting cool. film. Yeah. So, so you're expanding your screenings to Cambridge this year, is that? We were in Cambridge, but we're adding the Dorchester Center for the Arts as a new partner. Oh, okay. So there will be two uh, associates or what partners in Cambridge now, the nice. uh, Cambridge Premier Cinemas and the Dorchester Center for the Arts. Yeah, because so the film festival actually takes place in several locations, including St. Michael's and Easton as well. Yes, Easton and St. Michael's hmm. at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum and the Avalon Theater and the Academy Art Museum in Easton as well as the two in Cambridge. Wow. So what do you think some of the highlights are that, that people can really look forward to? Well, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hard question because everything, but I could start with the opening night because that's pretty exciting. This year, the opening night film is called New Chefs on the Block, and it is done by a young man with Maryland roots named uh, Dustin Harrison Atlas. And he has this wonderful film, and he lucked out in a way because it's about two young people, two young men, who want to ha start a restaurant. And he gets them from the idea of the concept all through the restaurants and the building and all they go through on that. It's, it's really, it's a fantastic film. But the exciting part is, it's a little bit of luck on the filmmaker's part because one of the two he chose ended up being Bon Appetit Magazine's new restaurant of the year in America. Wow. This is Rose's Luxury in Washington, D.C. Wow. So oh my goodness. It is. It's, it's so fun to see how something like that happens from just some young man's dream. And, and, and most, are, are most of the films, do they have roots in Maryland? No, they're from all over. All over, We have okay. tried to get as many as possible uh, outstanding Maryland films. Um, I'm a Maryland film maker and I have two films in there, so. Oh, okay. But the, with the opening night, I want to add something, not just films. We have receptions and parties. And for the beginning of the, the whole festival is a reception, and we're calling it Wet Your Appetite, a couple of meanings there, which precedes New Chefs on the Block. And seven restaurants from the area have all donated uh, appetizers. So we're going to be tasting what our chefs prepare in preparation for seeing the film. Oh, wow. Food yeah. and film. It's great. Oh, Two of my favorite things. Wow. Well, give, give us the where's and the wins. The where's and the wins. Okay, so the festival is October 11th to 14th, mm -hmm. and it is in Easton, St. Michael's, and Cambridge in okay. five venues. Right. And it starts every day, I think, every time at, at 1 o'clock. But all the information anybody needs is on chesapeakefilmfestival.com. 
you can see all the films, all 48 or 50 of them, right. and you can read about the synopsis, you can see the trailers, and you can get your tickets. And wow. of course, we'll have a link on our website to that website, domarvalife.com. Sandy Cannon Brown. Thank you so much for coming in. I am fired up about it. Thank you.